So let's say that you spent a lot of time making this great three pane layout, okay? And you're asking me, well first, how do you create a three pane layout? Well, it's very simple. This is the markup for that right there. You have a div of, you have first in content, which we're not really touching right now. All the content's doing is centering centering all this, okay? So we have our content, then we have um a div of boxes and then we just have our three boxes that each have the class box. Each box is 300 by 500 with a three pixel margin, it's red, and they're each floated left. Okay? There's your simple three pane layout. Okay? And you can have content in here or whatever. Alright? Now, let's say we want to add now uh, another piece of content. So we'll put another div in here, div, and we'll say ID equals quote more content. Now we're going to put, say, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and put a footer. Let's call it a footer. We're going to put a footer on this. Footer, right? Footer. Okay. Slash div. And we want our footer uh, to be just, we're going to do it in CSS because we're not actually going to put content. Uh, we're going to put uh, footer, right? Footer. And it's going to be <coughs> width. Our page is 930, so we're going to do 930 pixels as well. Um... And then we're going to do, uh, you know, height, 100 pixels, you know, background color, blue, whatever, background color, blue. Okay, so now we have a footer, right, that, now this is div, it's it's a div after, uh, you know, it's after this, after these boxes, so there you go, should be, uh, we should have a footer. So if we refresh, okay, we notice that our footer now is up here. But we put the div after here. So you see the problem that we're having. So there's a couple ways to fix this. I'm going to show you the way I don't recommend, and then I'm going to show you the way I do recommend. First thing you could do is you could put another element in here and set it to clear. So div, so we'll just give it a class, class equals clear, right? And then the only reason I'm putting the line break in here is because some browsers might ignore the element if there's nothing in it. So then we'll just make a class clear, dot clear, right? And then we'll say clear both, okay? So now when we refresh, hey, here's our footer. There's some spacing down here that's not exactly even, but our footer's down there nonetheless, okay? But we had to add an extra element to the page. This doesn't flow. Okay, so let's take this out. Um, you could also put it right before here. So let's take that and take a look. Okay, same effect, that's good. Okay, now, but we're still adding an element, so let's see what the class looks like. Um, if we take our footer, and if we were to say clear both on the footer, okay, um, instead, okay, so there we go, we get, we now our footer is good, and we're in the same space. So now, so to solve that problem, one way, actually two ways now, uh, we have cleared the footer, but that requires us to put a clear on every element, that we want cleared. So there's another solution that's even more elegant than this, and that's just set the overflow to auto on the container. So any element that contains floats, just set it to overflow auto. So we'll say pound boxes, and we'll just say overflow auto, and refresh, and there you go. It's still floating down the bottom. Here's our footer. Spacing's correct. And all we had to do was add overflow to the container. And this is going to be a lot easier than finding the element that needs to be cleared. Just clear the container of the floats. If you have elements that are floating, just overflow the, uh, the parent. And there you go. Not going to have any float problems anymore. Um, this works in all browsers, even, which is great. Uh, the clear method... Uh, you have to do some hacks to get that to work in all browsers, but this overflow method will work in all browsers. Um, one thing to note, setting it to auto might make a scroll bar if your boxes are too wide. So say we make our boxes 500 apiece when our page is only 930, that should... Okay, it doesn't. So it doesn't even create a scroll bar, which is great. This is the effect that floats should have, which is fine. So that's good. Um, but you might come across... Overflow Auto usually creates scroll bars in some cases, so you might come across that. If that's the problem, set it to hide. It gives you the exact same effect. No, it doesn't. Overflow Hidden. 
should be there you go I just want to prove um, that this works in all browsers um, so I'm gonna take the floating file that I just made and I'm gonna upload it to FTP right here and I, I just did this a second ago done okay so it's basically at square bracket dot com slash um, floating dot html okay so here's our page so here's is here it is in Firefox for Mac here it is in uh, Safari and here it is in Chrome okay see it's working in all three now let's check the devil we'll go back to Firefox we'll go to IE net renderer which basically renders it in IE and takes a snapshot we'll start with IE8 and paste it in here and render and here's IE8 working in IE8 here's IE7 okay so now we're kinda crossing our fingers it's still working in IE7 go to IE6 which I don't even care if it works here because I don't even do anything in IE6 anymore. Oh, it still works in IE6. Let's go down to IE5.5 as if anyone's using that anymore and see if it still works. And it still works. So proving that this method works in all browsers. Okay. So overflow hidden, overflow auto on the parent element of floating divs and you won't have any more float troubles.